Mm, mm, mm. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, illustrious family. I want to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to continue to give a thanks and a shout out to uh, people who have uh, continued to send condolences to my family regarding my brother, uh, your sentiments and your kind words are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And uh, know that although some of you may not have been talked with personally, know that if you're under the sound of my voice, know that I thank you from the bottom of my heart um, and charge anything to my head and not my heart if I haven't responded to you. Okay? So I wanted to get that out of the way. So, good morning, whatever side of the diaspora that you on, wherever you're at, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, today, um, we can talk about this breaking news. As for those of us who make under $75,000 a month, the House passed Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill in a late night vote after two Democrats vote, Democrats broke ranks, and sends it to the Senate. Uh, the bill passed the House early Saturday morning without a single GOP vote. Um, and not a single, um, I'm sorry, not a single GOP vote. Okay, they was voted through after Senate rule minimum wage hike could not be included. So in order for them to have... Um, I guess thought about even um, not making a big stink out is, is that they couldn't in, in uh, intermingle the fifteen dollar an hour rule minimum wage hike. Democrats Kirk Schrader of Oregon and Jerry Goldman of Maine broke ranks and voted against the bill. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer intends to take the bill, take up the bill immediately in a fifty-fifty divided Senate. The legislation will include. The $1,400 stimulus checks to add to December $600 check. House lawmakers passed President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package early Saturday morning without a single Republican vote in support. <laughs> the bill passed the lower chamber with the 219-212 vote, even after the key Senate official ruled that the final version will not include a minimum wage hike, allowing the U.S. Senate to take up the legislation. There were two Democrats, one of Oregon and one of Maine, that broke ranks and voted against the bill. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer intends to take up the bill immediately, he aimed to include it uh, in a huge COVID rescue plan, which allots billions of dollars to boost vaccine delivery, help schools reopen, and fund state and local government. It also extends unemployment benefits set to expire in mid-March until September 30th. The bill is on track to be the second largest U.S. stimulus ever. After the two trillion package that Donald Trump signed into law last March to help rescue the coronavirus battered economy, but the minimum wage portion of the latest effort ran around Thursday when the Senate parliamentarian ruled that it cannot be included in the sprawling aid plan as written under certain rules. Now, despite the setback, House of Republic Representative Democrats said that they were pressing on with a vote keeping the minimum wage provision in even as it will be dead on arrival in the upper chamber. We're going to make giant steps forward tonight, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi told reporters, saying the hundreds of billions of dollars in direct checks is going to be a boom for families suffering during this pandemic. A House vote was expected Friday night, but Pelosi and other leaders did not give time did not give a time and a rules committee meeting 
to set the parameters for the vote and was still ongoing at as of 6.30 p.m. on Friday. Pelosi can ill afford defections. She leads the slimiest, the slimmest house, yeah, the slimiest, slimmest, <laughs> uh, house majority, 221 to 211 Republicans in decades in her chamber. So she don't, she ain't up by much. But she insisted that she had the votes to pass the bill with or without the minimum wage measure. And she stressed that should the Senate remove the provisions as expected, Democrats will, will return to the issue late, at a later date. We will not rest until we pass $15 minimum wage. I think that's good. I think that's a great start. No one who works full-time in the richest nation on this planet should live in poverty, said Democratic Jim McGovern and the Rules Commission Committee Chairman. Republicans have complained that a large majority of funding does not directly contribute to fighting coronavirus pandemic or expanding vaccinations, and that Democrats are using a pandemic to push forward a liberal wish list. But the White House Budget Office said that the measure provides critical tools for tackling health crises and, like Biden, urged its swift passage. After clearing the House, the bill would then be sent next week to the Senate where the wage language will be removed. And if it is adopted, the two texts will need to be reconciled and passed again before getting Biden's signature. Progressives like Sanders, meanwhile, were studying ways to raise wages, including introducing an amendment to the COVID package that would create tax penalties for major corporations which pay employees less than $15 an hour. Mm. That's how you get creative, Bernie. So what y'all got what y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? The fact that now the House passed the, the bill, one point nine trillion. Those of us who make $75,000 or less a year should be receiving benefits. Uh, what y'all think? Y'all think it's going to be stopped? It's not going to go through? Is, is, uh, is some uh, crap going to be found in the game? I have to watch my language. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I want to give a shout out to um, Tafrica. I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Mr. Jones. We got to give a shout out to Mr. Jones. Uh, I also want to shout out uh, Kelly. I also want to shout out Jan, better known as the professor. I think I will shout out. Who else is on my list? Um, I am shouting out Simone. I am shouting out DJ Kills. I'm shouting out Lynette. Uh, and I am shouting out anybody that I forgot. Tafrica, I know you out there. Shout out to you. Shout out to uh, Kamiko. Shout out to you out there. <laughs> uh, anybody I missed, y'all already know. I'll get you in the next video. All right? So with that being said, y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all think this money going to come on through or you think it's still another uh, haggle moment for them? You think we're going to get it or you think not? All right. With that being said, leave your comments below. See you in the next video.